I'm mean, at the stage now where the, the machine is virtually finished on this casting. All I need to do now is machine that end round down to uh, inch and three quarter. That's where the banjo fits. I've been wondering how I'm going to mount it, uh, and I had any idea last night. So what I'm going to try and do one. I'll take the spindle out and put a lathe dog back on when it's in a nice, nice thick aluminium to protect the threads obviously goes on like that nip that up means we can get this back in the lathe between centers 100% accurate lifting like it had not been taken out Just nip that up. Then I'm going to put it back into here. I'll take the handle off. I'll just put a nut and a washer on instead. I'll just nip this up. I'm going to mount this between the centres, then hopefully I can, I'll be able to machine that face there and that face there as well, not more that face there, I need that round, like I said, to put the banjo clamps on so I'll try putting it in the lathe and see if I've got enough clearance underneath there Right, you can see we've got the, <coughs> got the chuck off and just blew out well Blow our tape on out. Make sure the threads are nice and clean. Got our dead centre. It goes into there. Got a driving plate. If you haven't got a driving plate, you can use a face plate. I modified the driving dog, it's just a whole made driving dog. This is about a three quarter round bar split, but I welded a leg on so it fits into the slot in the driving dog the way it's supposed to be. Put my tail stock centre up. On it first to make sure the make sure the tapers are both settled in, which they are, and just a little nip. Now we're, we're clearing the we're clearing the lathe bed all right. We've got to make sure we it'll clear the saddle, which it will. And obviously it will hit the cross sleeve, but we're not going to go anywhere near that. We've got a right hand knife tool in. We should be able to face the end of that. Uh, I've run the lathe very slow. Obviously it's a big. It's a big piece spin round, you've got to be aware it's there. You don't want to get yourself stuck on that there, it doesn't, doesn't even bear thinking about. What I will do, I'll fetch the stop along. As long as I don't go any further than that stop, I'll be safe. Just lock that off and it gives us an idea how far we can actually go. Full of bloody cool. I'm just knocking that bastard here. Oh god. I'm having a week off work, that's why I'm full of cool. Right, the layers, we'll take that away, we'll set them the other way. Nice and slow, that's, that's actually doing still 210 RPM. It's just more than fast enough for what it's got to do. Any faster, we might get problems with vibration. Let's 
gently doing this by hand. It's cutting quite nicely, the aluminium is nice and soft, the tool is very sharp. Outside face on this one actually fly cut when we're bored and we did the bore so that's gotta be true to the bore. Cut the cut so we'll take a measure. We'll make it round now all the way down. Put a new tip in there and after we final cut on it. It's a little bit teary that. Come on, you bastard. One point eight four, so that's loads to go. Take that forty thou of it. So it's only one point eight. So good. Dead on. So that's 50 thou to come off that before I finish size. What I can do, I can machine, I can machine this face here. But I don't want to lock the, lock the carriage off. Yes, flat, but you get a down to the level. Well, I do want to put a pot for you to fix that out. That's what it's for. Just fetch things away. So when gears the power feed, we're not going to get any nasty surprises. I mean, I know which way the levers move to make things go, but uh, see that that thing busted around. There. Right, that's coming out. Take it back in. Let's. In the corner. So the carriage is locked off. That should come out for a reasonable finish on, nice and slow. Very versatile that tool. You can face things and you can machine things down with it. Turn it on, facing all that.
just speed it up a bit, all going to be here all night. Just going to whisk by this end. It's cutting absolutely perfect. Dead flat, it's got to be because that was fly cut. At the same time, we machined the ball. I do want to turn it around, and there's a little bit on the other end that wants machining off. Just a bit we couldn't quite get when we fly cut it, so I'll do it this way. Making a nice job of it. See, that, that'll be taken out to finish down until later on once I get the banjo made. All I want to do now, I want to just break that corner there. You don't like nasty corners, they tend to cut your fingers. 45 degree tool in. Make sure it's still free to revolve, which it is. But no freights. It's a nice chamfer. So the TX looks better. It's a lot safer as well. Right, so we've got that end, that end machined up. All I'm going to do now is take 50 thou off that to get it down to size when I make the banjo. Turn this around. I yeah, put a mark on the shaft there. I wanted to put a mark on the shaft, so that's that's, it. that's my length set, so I can machine my threads down to there. I'll put it in the other way around. Right, we've mounted back between centers now. And there's a little bit on there that I couldn't get when I fly cut this end and machine the whole face again. Right hand knife tool in again. That's how we're going to be working, so we'll make sure that we've got no issues with things whacking off things. It's close to that, close to that nut there, but that's enough. Right, we're happy with that. Oh, I'll stop in again. I want to know a lot of the courage off. We're going to be machining just this very end first. I'm doing it by hand and I'll put a, oh, I'll put a power feed on for the last cut. Can I get it? I'm actually going to travel there where I let it move the tool further back. Quite a big thing while swinging about here. It's not the limit of the machine, but it's getting it's getting near. Better. Now we're still kind of getting the bastard.
show it again at the air. I've moved the, moved the tool post back a bit. You have to find on, you, you can do more. You can machine bigger things than the laser was designed for at the cost of speed. Well, speed doesn't really matter when you're, you're messing about at home. All the stones taking a little bit off the off the end that we, we couldn't get with a fly cutter. Once so we get rid of that one, one touch it. Somebody asked if I thought the clamping arrangement was tight enough to allow us to mill things in the lathe chuck. I think it's supposed to show how tight it is. Whisper he cut on here, not much. Oh, I feel it. And that'll nicely slowly come out and put a, a nice flat finish all the way down there. Quality control, I like it. It's just round clear there. I like it. I took the tool straight out there to see if I was having to hack my wrist open. Quite a reasonable finish. Just want these edges de ragging. The wife's been watching what I told me videos and she says I'm not a bastard at all. She says that I'm more of a twastard. You can work that one out for yourself. <coughs> 